Well, we've got some just general area maps so you have an idea of where we're at. They've come from across Washington. What would I impact within a mile radius of where I'm burning? To state-owned land near Tonino. What would be a really good tool for figuring out our tonnage? The Department of Fish and Wildlife manages this area and conducts regular controlled burns here, most recently in July, to help protect endangered species. For this, we're looking at the federally endangered uh, Taylor's checker spot butterfly. We're wanting to encourage responsible burning. The state's Department of Natural Resources is heading up the training that started just last year. We're here to offer them a higher liability protection for the practice that they're doing, but we're making sure that they're being more responsible about it and having sort of that competency check. For $100, firefighters, employees of timber companies, nonprofits, and even private landowners can get certified to conduct their own permitted controlled burns a relatively recent practice to reduce wildfire fuels by burning and clearing out forest floor. Which one are we thinking? Kyle Lapham teaches how to put together a fire plan based on the amount to burn, the weather, and surrounding environment. Students are tested and evaluated before getting certified. We're able to select when we want the fire so that it's moderate and we can control it and prevent it from when it will burn, oftentimes in catastrophic areas with wildfires. We took fire off landscape because it burns your house down and it's scary. Um, and in that time, everything in the woods is still growing. And so now we're just overloaded with fuel. Devin Dykes hopes to conduct controlled burns for property owners. He used to fight fires for a living, but now is eager to work on the prevention side. Feeling slightly inspired that it seems like we're moving in a direction of introducing more fire back onto the landscape and using it as another tool to uh, yeah, move forward, I guess. Assuming all the students pass their tests and get their certificates, they're expected to be heading up their own controlled burns by next spring. In Thurston County, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.